Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use ADT camera without service. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, so using an ADT camera without a subscription to their monitoring or cloud storage service is possible in some cases, but it depends heavily on the specific model and its capabilities. So what we first need to do is identify, identify your camera model. So different ADD cameras can have different levels of compatibility. Some common models include ADT pulse cameras, command cameras, and cameras rebranded from manufacturers like Hikvision or Vivotech. So find the model number on the device or in the app you use to set it up. And then from here, we need to check local access possibilities. So most ADT cameras are cloud dependent, but some might support local viewing or recording. So wired IP cameras. So if your ADT camera is able is a rebranded IP camera, you may be able to connect it via IP address through your browser or ITSP stream, or use third party software like Blue Iris or iSpy to record and view locally. Wireless cloud cameras, for example, ADT Command, these are much harder to use without an ADT service because they require server authentication and lack local storage or manual setup options. We can also try third-party NVR software for IP cameras. So if your ADT camera is IP-based and exposes an RTSP or OnViv stream, you can download software like Blue Iris, iSpire, TinyCam, etc. Use your home network to access the video feed. So for this, you might need a camera IP address, a default login credentials, check online based on camera model, an RSP, RTSP stream URL, for example. Check for SD card or local storage. So some newer models may have local storage, like a micro SD card. In this case, recordings are saved directly to the card. You can remove the card and view footage on a computer. You still may need the app for live viewing unless it's accessible via browser or third party tool factory reset and configure so use this with caution so some users try to factory reset the camera and reconfigure it manually this may allow basic local access risk completely bricking the camera if it is adt locked to their servers only attempt this if you're comfortable with tech and i've confirmed your model allows third party use